certain something. Jay had the talent to be somebody. Practice, practice, never reenact this. The simple fact is I'm real good at this. They chased one goal relentlessly. He always knew what he wanted to do, and he always knew that he could do it better than everybody else that was out there. He struggles. He was going to do whatever was keeping food on his table. He felt getting that street money was his true calling. And setbacks. People didn't get his rhyme flow, didn't get his style. Jay couldn't get a deal. Bottom line, some people are just driven. A Brooklyn hustler's defiant pursuit of superstardom. At that time, it wasn't no strategy, man. It was just straight gorilla pimp. Jay was just like, if you don't want to let me in, I'm going to let myself in. Never before seen images, stories, and revelations from the people who know what really happened. When you see the bad side of the industry, sometimes you're like, I ain't going through that. He was like, maybe I can't do this. You know, maybe I'm not good enough to do this. Because they lived it with him. You ain't living proof of what you could become. That all people from the ghetto do have a chance. Sean was born December the 4th, 1969. We lived with our grandmother in a, a brownstone. We were living at 6.15 Lexington Avenue. I remember my mother bringing him home. He was 10 pounds. I never saw a baby that big. He was a normal child. Happy go lucky. Jay, he's my cousin. Our mother's his sisters. I have no brother, so he's like my brother. We used to have Sunday dinners together. Oh boy, we would have big dinners. Compared to my house, Jay's house was like freedom. And they had all the music and the parties and everything. They always loved music. They had the illest record collection. My mother and father kept crates of music in our house. Earth, Wind & Fire. The Ohio Players. The Whispers. The Temptations. <laughs> Every time my mother would put on Enjoy Yourself by the Jackson 5, he would dance and sing and spin around and just do the Michael Jackson dances. He had us behind him. He was the little ham, and we was his, like, backup singer. We moved in 75. They got an apartment in the Marcy Projects. That was the first time we ever was in a project. We lived in the same building. We lived on the fifth floor. I lived on the third floor. It was just, you know, we was all just regular kids, you know. We would just basically just sit on the bench, play dice or stuff like that play basketball in the back. He's one of the best in the hood. Sometimes he was the best, sometimes it was other kids that beat him. You always want to be number one. You always had to be the best at everything. So he would just come back and challenge them again. My mother always told us to try to do our best in everything or anything that we wanted to do. She always gave us that drive. School was the most important thing to her. He was a very bright kid. Jay was always in the top class. Jay was real good in math. English, too, because he's good with words. Yeah. Yeah. When we was coming yeah. up, it was really the beginning yeah. of, you know, the violence. Every lunch hour, there were four yeah. or five fist fights. That's yeah. when crack came out. That's when it was real bad out there. Oh. This is really when the gun started to come into play. I remember once asking the kids, uh, have any of you ever seen a gun? Gun blazing was a regular thing in our project. You know, kids would say they walk up to gunshots. You had to learn how to duck, know where to be at the right time, and just survive. Marcy raised me, and whether right or wrong, streets gave me all I write in this song. Marcy was right the best schooling that we could have as far as dealing with this world that we live in. You had to teach your kids how to survive in there. Parents have close holds on you because they don't want that to happen to you. Jay was the baby. So him and my father did a lot of stuff together. There was times they would just walk. And he would walk behind and go, go ahead, find your way home. He was teaching him how to be a man. My father, he left when um, Jay was 11 years old. That really hurt him, because they had a relationship. They kind of closed down for a minute. He got real quiet. I remember a sadness about Sean Carter. There was a neediness about him. See, my mom could teach us, because we was girls. But with a little boy, it's kind of different. 